Hey you folks, Quillington here, and welcome to Let's Try Duskers. Duskers is a space strategy survival roguelike drone command line. I don't know how to describe this game, but it's pretty awesome. It is in early access on Steam, um, and uh, it is very, 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 very challenging, I gotta say, to get started. I've only dabbled with this for a little bit here. This is a very early first impressions. I've had plenty of failures, so I'll give you a quick run-through of a couple of salvage missions here to give you a sense of things. Basically, we are a lone, broken down uh, ship in the middle of a galaxy with basically no fuel, um, and all we've got going for us is we've got a couple of unmanned drones. Actually, we start with three drones that we can use to explore derelict crafts and hopefully get some supplies. Um, in this particular run, I've gone ahead and explored two derelict crafts already, and I've actually, on my last mission, managed to snag an extra drone, so I'm up to four drones in total. So, I've got two more ships that I can spot in the radius. Right now, I'm the, I'm the blue, blue bit over here. I'm currently parked around a ship that I've just salvaged here, and I've already done the Roxana as well. So, I've got two more choices. We've got the Gold Digger 2 and the Sojourner, Sojourner, Sojourner Truth. I don't know why I have such a hard time with certain words. Uh, two. Um, both seem pretty safe. Each one have uh, infest infestation types one, so not too many enemies there. There's definitely some threats that can happen here. Um, and they're both relatively young ships, so they're nice and stable. Uh, the thing that's gotten me more than anything hasn't been random uh, critters that happen to be on the ships. It's the ships themselves disintegrating as they run around. So I'm very excited about the fact that they're stable. So this should be a relatively easy run. So I'm going to go ahead and move my ship over there and going to go ahead and board this vessel. I only have two more uh, distance worth of fuel left, so hopefully we can find some more in here. So I'm going to bring Wally, Sarah, Abby, and Kyle, those are my drone names over there, to, uh, to the other ship with me. May as well bring all four, and we'll go ahead and board. All right, scan. Inconclusive. Infestation types detected one. Hull integrity good. Um, ooh, this was a bounty hunter ship. Had a crew of ten, and the logs are currently corrupted. So this is the schematic view of the game. This is my ship over here and then our particular docking bay here and there's an airlock that connects us to the rest of the vessel. I can toggle as well to within my local drone control so I can uh, drive Wally around or switch over to Abby for example or Kyle here. Got some options. So first thing we need to do is we need to open airlock one over here so if I do switch over to Kyle I can't get through the airlock. Now I can open it quite easily by just typing a 1 in my command line console down here. Command to open uh, airlock 1. Then we can enter into this room. Kyle's got the uh, the sonic um, disruptor and a stun ability, which might make him, you know, the best thing to potentially entangle himself with some mobs, some critters if there are any. Things seem safe over here. So what we're going to do now is we need to uh, power the ship. We can't open any of these doors until they're powered. There's a little generator slot there. Sarah has a generator module on that drone, so she can plug in over here. So I can switch to Sarah, and I can plug in over there. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to activate her generator module. So now the ship's a bit powered. I can ask for a status report as well, mostly get the same information as before and we can see things are powered right now. It looks like there's a disabled drone over in room two, so that's gonna be a high priority find. There's an airlock over there. I could actually move my ship to that airlock and open it up, and we may in the end do that sort of thing. Now, what I'm mostly interested in is getting Wally with his motion detector. So I can switch to Wally and steer him into room three, but I can also say something like, navigate drone one into room three. So now Wally will automatically move over there dodging around Abby, who we don't need quite right now. And then I can say, turn on your motion detector. Oh, let's try again. I'm still moving. Okay, room six does in fact have a critter. So let's actually open door nine, since we know that that one is currently empty. We're going to switch to Kyle. Okay, there's some gatherables in there, but otherwise we're okay. So Kyle's going to move out over here, and Wally, our motion detector, but also our gatherer is gonna come over here and we're gonna gather all the stuff in here, probably a couple of sources of scrap. Indeed. Now the room is empty and good, so I'm gonna bring Wally out of here. I'm gonna close door nine, then reactivate your motion detector. It does have a limited use, but it's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna open door 11. 
Now, the critters will roam around naturally, so if we wait here, we should see them move from room 6 to room 5. They should just go and investigate. I don't have a lure that should probably speed things up, but I think they'll get there on their own. There it is. Sealed door 11. Now they're sealed into room 5, which is great. So now we can open door 10. And I'm going to go Wally. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Grab Wally, because he's our gatherer. And we're going to go and check out that new room and see what we might be able to uh, scam out of it. Oh. Oh, we got an interface console. That is very good news. And I don't know what that is, actually. Don't know all the symbols. Usually if you have the right module, it'll, it'll prompt you to do something. Now, um, Abby over here. Abby, uh, nav 3 to room 6, has an interface module. So we'll use that. And who's got the tow capacity? Oh, it's Abby as well. So that's very convenient. Um, let me activate the motion detector, make sure there's no one in room 2. No, motion, room 2 is fine. So we can turn that off. Abby, come over here. We're going to interface with this computer. So, we can run ship scan. Scan nearby rooms. Which tells us some items around that we can still collect, which is good. Um, you'll see it's also got a command to activate the defenses. There's actually a gun in R5, so if I activate the ship defenses... There we go. Now, I don't know if it uh, if I go through there if I would take damage. I haven't explored that yet, so I don't know. But we've killed that enemy. Not that we needed to, but it feels good. So, you know, that's great. Let's open door 12. Actually, we'll open door 8 at the same time, since these places should all be fine. Um, I'm going to have Wally over here. Tell him to gather the bit that's in here. Um, oh, that's the fuel port. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. And then um, Abby, with her toe. There we go. We've got Haley over here, so I can say info, um, drone 2, I could swap if she's got any modules, a gatherer and a stealth module, great, we could just take it, but I'm just going to go ahead and tow, and I'm going to, I wonder if I can nav 3R1 while towing, oh, you can tow in that direction too, excellent, so you just tow that to the door, which is great, Wally gather all, because there's some bits over there. So we're going to get ourselves a new drone. This is wonderful. We're going to get that. I think there was some in this room, actually. There is. You can hit the control plus the up key to uh, scroll back into your history log, which will make that easy. So there we go. So you're going to collect all that. And I guess we'll check out R4 over here. It's got another power generator. We don't need... It. Actually, I'm not sure. We might. Yeah, see, because we can't open D14, 13, or 4, or D7, because we don't have any power. Alright, no baddies. Yeah, so if I try to open D14, nothing. So, um, Wally, you can cancel your motion detection. That's fine. Uh, I guess we can open all the doors now. We're per perfectly safe. So I can say open all. So all the doors we can open. We've done that. Sarah, we're going to navigate to to R4. And when you get there, we're going to tell you to activate your um, generator. There's an airlock. I can move where the ship is docked to, which is really handy if it's a thing that gets damaged. Um, we're going to navigate Kyle uh, into R1. So you're ready to leave. Um, Sarah, I don't think you actually... Oh, you're being interfered with, Wally. Wally, get out of the way. Sarah, generator. Thank you. Another airlock. So... Man, there shouldn't be any bad guys. I guess we'll open D7. Nav 1 to R2. Just let me confirm over here. Yeah, we're fine. So we should be able to open all. And be okay. Uh, what the? Is that a gun? Uh, close D4.
Oh my. Uh, D5. It was a static. It's not moving. So it didn't show up on my motion scanner. Ah! 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 Close D12. Uh, close all. Wow. Okay, so there's a critter in R2. Although that means we can get around it now, which is okay. Um, D8, D14. Oops. Nav 1 to R7. Oh, Nav 1, R7. So the thing should be trapped in R2, a room that we've fully cleared. Um, there we go. Gather. And push comes to shove, we can change some airlock things. Actually, um, I can open the airlock A2, vent into space. Now, if there was anything out in, else in there... Oh, we got to close for radiation. If there was anything else in there, um, it would have been sucked out. But as is, it should only be the bad guy. D5, we know there was a goodie in there. So now if I go into D4, will we find radiation in here? No, we're fine. So I should be able to go open all, and then there's a nice handy alias, which is end. You can open up aliases, um, like this. There's commands. You see end just tells everyone to navigate to the... Um, to the docking bay. So everyone will go over there. All the doors are open, so we can easily walk there. And there we go. Everyone is safe and sound inside that, including our new pickup. So we can now exit the ship. Um, wait. Ship upgrade that can be salvaged. Oh, hold on. Open up A1. So I've, I've missed something. Is that what this thing over here is? Um, nav 1 to R5. Oops. R5. Um, excellent job uh, with the pathfinding all. Sarah, move further back in. Abby, move over there. Kyle. So is that what the symbol is? I don't know. On R5, ship defense, ship upgrade. Use tow. Oh, you tow it! Okay, nav 1 to R1. Wally, get out of here. Um, who's our tower? It's Abby. So, stop your towing. Um, okay. Woo, it's a good thing for that notice. I would have left that behind. There it is. Okay, so tow. Towing remote power. So, you just type end again. Get you to pathfind your way over there. Okay, and now I think we can exit without leaving anything behind. Sweet! So, we got a little bit of fuel. We got a bunch of scrap, which is nice. We've survived five days, which is probably a record for me. Um, we got a new drone, which includes a gather or another gatherer module, which is nice to have a backup, and a stealth module. Okay. Use uh, ship config to install new ship upgrades. So we're going to do that. So in slot one, we're going to add remote power. Remotely powers a power inlet. So we don't have to use a drone with a generator. We can power it from the ship. That's good, but we only have two upgrade slots, so we're going to be picking and choosing quite a few things as we go forward here. Um, I can't, like, you know, save before a mission. It is sort of roguelike-y, like permadeath. Um... And it is like real time in a sense, but really in practice, you don't have a lot of time to respond, so that's nice. Um, I guess we're just gonna go over here. Then I don't know what we're gonna do. Am I good with this uh, composition? I mean, I might not need Sarah, but maybe we want two generators. Um, we've got the motion detector. Oh, oh, I, you know what I need to do before we board the ship? I need to go modifications. I need to recharge our motion detector. Pairs the upgrade if starting to show errors at 25. Oh, 
Uh, failure probability is only 6.3. So it doesn't make sense to recharge it yet. I mean, it's only two scrap, but we actually do still have a lot of um, a lot of space in it. So okay, we'll board as is. We'll board this. Another derelict, a gold digger. All right. So there's a bunch of stuff in R2, including I think that's another ship upgrade module. Um, so I guess we'll run the, the begin command, which is a nice shortcut to tell drone one and two to go through the airlock and power anything if need be, although some ability to pathfind is limited. Um, okay, motion. All right, R5. Do we not have a scan in um, R4? How come we can't actually... We're not getting the green confirm over there. Oh well, let's open D4. Okay, that's a busted up drone. So we, can, we can't rescue it, but we can steal its stealth module. Nice. Oh no! Okay. That's a lot of badness. Alright, uh, nav 1. Actually, let's open D11. Oh! Oh, it's not moving full time. <gasps> it might be. I bet you just moved to R2. It's, it's swapping between the two. Let's open D11. Or no, D11 was already open. Let's nav uh, 1 to R6. Hull integrity is good, that makes me very happy. But I don't know how I'm gonna tackle this. Oh, there's a interface spot, that's good. Uh, who's got the interface module? Abby. Oh, there's a survey, so ship scan. So that updated bits and pieces all over the place, which is handy. Um, gather one all. There we go. Um, so that's one. What does survey do? Ah, shows us new rooms. Good. Uh, defense thing. There is a defense thing in R5. So what we want to do is activate the defenses, killing an enemy, but we can open D2 because there's an enemy that's roaming around between R8, R2, and hopefully we can pull them into R5 and kill that. Meanwhile, D3, uh, R7 is fine. Yes, there we go. Let's turn off the defenses before I go in there. Let's open D3. Switch over to Wally. There's another power inlet there, and... Oh! I don't think there's a way to get through this. Okay. Haven't seen that before. Um, who's got the tow module? Oh, we can't tow that bit. It's broken. That's right. I guess um, I can open D5 and send... 1 to R5. Oh, it's going to try to go that way, and it can't. Is it going to go in a different way? Oh, it is. Good. I'm going to go ahead and seal off um, D3 and D11, just in case there's any sort of radiation that starts to happen, since we can't go through there. Plus, I don't want things to auto-pathfind in that direction, either. And I guess we can go through here. Gather all. Lots of scrap bits, but also fuel, which is nice. And I guess we can open D7 at this point, which is fine. When I send uh, nav for... Uh, what's the room? Nav for R8. Just for vision. Although, I guess Wally's done. that is a full scan of absolutely everything. I don't think there's any... Uh, no, I guess what I can do is open uh, D10 and then nav 1 to R7. There could be some scrap on the other side that I didn't see. <clears throat> Entirely possible. No. No reason to power this up. Um, it would just give us the ability to open and close door D9 and D6. So I'm just going to type N, and we'll get everyone to pathfind themselves back to the base. Good successful mission. You guys aren't seeing my F-ups. 
because <laughs> there have been some epic ones. But now the question is, I actually don't know where to go from this spot. Okay, seems okay. Exit. No warnings, so everything is probably okay. All right, and we got that stealth upgrade. So, all the objects in the system have been explored, plus two or space to view other systems. Ah, so I can jump to another system. Ah, okay, I'm out of propulsion. So actually, I couldn't move around here, but I have enough for jumps. Object six, distance 12 days. Objects 9, distance 10 days. Well, there's more objects and less distance. Is this total jump? Does distance matter? Let's try to jump. Every time you jump between systems, your propulsion fuel recharges. This does not apply to your reserve tank. Okay. Oh, I think the plus 3 is your reserve. So if I lose, run out of propulsion, I'll start to use that, but that never regenerates. So right now, every time I jump, I'll go back up to six. And then I can find more as I buzz around in here. Ah, that's excellent. Okay. So yes, indeed, there's a lot of objects. Okay. Here we are at, currently, the Aurora Borealis ship. Uh, class is Tech C, two infestation types. Its age is 241 years old. This is volatile. This thing is falling apart. If we're going to fail, it's probably going to be on this one. So let's go ahead and give that a go. I'm going to leave Haley behind. The uh, backup gatherer is going to be fine. I also don't think we need a stealth unit on Wally here um, because we do have the motion detection. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, set the stealth unit aside. Just in case anything happens to Wally, we lose a little less stuff. All right, let's board the ship. Hull integrity, medium. That is not good. So it's going to decay and radiation is going to spread as we go. So, um... Let's open up A1. Ooh, this is uh, not a whole lot of spot. Sarah with the generator. Move you in this corner, out of the way. Activate the generator. Status, yeah. Some doors are open. Um, let's get Wally -E up front here so we can do a quick little motion scan. Results inconclusive. That's not happy making. Ah, we can interface though. And there's another airlock. Um, who's my interfacer? Abby. We have to act quickly because the ship is disintegrating around us. Interface. Ship scan. Uh, do we have any defenses to activate? No, no. So I think Abby, unless we have something to tow, and we will, there's a ship upgrade in D12. Let's uh, close D10. Nothing in AR4, so we don't know. But D16 and D15 seem to be fine. More power. Um, that's another interface, yeah. Door's not powered. No, that's okay. Um, nav 1 to R5. Oh, that's just, there's another airlock in there. But there might be something, um, lootable. Actually, there's stuff that's lootable in this room, which I should really do. And, no. But it's good to have a backup airlock. So, gather all. That's going to be fine. Um... Nav 3 R1. I want Abby out of the way and safe before we open D12, since we don't know what's in there. I'll also do that. I'm going to switch over to Kyle, who's got stun abilities, right? Help stun, drops a proximity stun, and then help Sonic, drives organic threats from the room. Will not enter the room with an active Sonic. Okay, we're going to open D12 and be ready to run if something shows up. And something's in there. Okay. We're going to have to deal with that. Uh, fire the proximity stun? Yeah. Alright, let's close D14. I'm going to drop the stun here and open D12. Come at me. Oh, 
Oh, it stunned me too. Uh, that is unpleasant. Drone 4 is no longer stunned. Open D17. Uh, close D14. There's another airlock over here. That's good news. There's our fuel. Uh, D10. And close D12. Oh, it's blocked. Ship upgrade. See, I want all this. Is that thing perma-stunned is the question. Well, let me put another... Oh! Oh, it went through. Let me close D17 off. I think it's trapped in room R3. Which is great. And where's the other power? There's power in R7. So if I take all you guys, put you back in the ship. Still worried about the ship falling apart around me. I guess there's remote power as well. But let's move the ship to docking port A5. And then open airlock 5. And our generator. I mean, I guess we can do the remote generation, but nav 2 to R7 and activate the generator when you're there. Wally, meanwhile, you're going to come in here and do a gather all. And with our tower, because there's a ship upgrading here, you're going to take this and tow it. All right. Man, we are, we are really cranking this out. Okay, um, you're generating that, which is great. Uh, we do have some extra doors to open. Um, motion. Alright, so far so good. So D13 should be safe to open. That's another ship upgrade module. Another airlock. Um, stop towing. Uh, nav... 3 to R9 and then tow when you get there. And we have no reading on R8. Results inconclusive. That's probably one of those semi-static things. Um, tell you what, we're going to nav Wally to R7 so you can gather the fuel. No, wait, what is this then? not something I can tow. I actually don't know what that symbol means then. Oh, I think it might be a way to get between these two. I don't know if I might need something special for it, but I think that's what it is. Anyway, um, gather all, or have I already done that? Ooh, jump cell. Okay, so R8 may have good stuff, may not have good stuff, I don't know. How do I want to work this? Let's encourage everyone to move there. Um, Sarah, keep being a generator. S oops. If we can cut you into R9, that would be fine. And then we can close all that behind. So open D11, Kyle. There we go. Close D11. Oh my god! Close D13. I did not expect that. Shoot. Well, open D18. Uh, nav 1 to R8. Shoot, I think we've just lost Kyle completely. I guess I should have put a stun grenade right at the door here. But I thought I'd be able to run away in time. I didn't expect him to suddenly like teleport forward. Well, apparently our hull integrity is fine. So we're going to get one extra piece of scrap for all this trouble that we just did. Well. Alright. D11. Run. D18. D11. Is there any chance... 
Right, I forgot there's still that guy in there, which we could kill by opening the airlock. I wonder if he's left the other room. I don't want to lose anyone else. No, he's still in there. Okay. Go to D11. Will you do it? Might have left. Open door 13. No motion. No motion. All right, I'm going to move Wally to the escape area just in case something bad is there. And we're gonna grab Abby over here. We can always rescue Sarah by moving from airlock to airlock if need be. D13, I hope nothing's in there. Toe. D13, all right, we rescued Kyle. We're gonna have to spend a lot of scrap to repair him. But that's okay. Ooh, ah. All right. And that's good. Let's get the hell out of here. Poor Kyle. We got him back. And ship upgrade received reroute power. That's different from remote power. Reroutes power and ship. Interesting. We'll have to try to use those uh, at some point. Go to modification screen. Uh, go down to Kyle. Kyle and Haley both need to be fixed. Uh, we do have a lot of scrap. I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, fully repair you and you. We've got a queue. I will execute the queue. And we've got that. Uh, motion detector is... Um, I think it's well worth to add 25 to the motion detector. We'll execute that as well. We can reload the stun, but we still have the three. I think we're going to be fine. Motion detector. Failure probability is now up to 1152 we probably won't do anything with that yet. Probably leave it as is. Well, what I'm probably going to do is end this recording here. What do we have here? A Stargate. Crazy. And we didn't actually get to show off the radiation. What will happen is, like, there'll be red squares on the ground. And if you end up, like, stepping in it, you will take huge amounts of damage very quickly. And it makes the automatic navigation very, very risky because it's really easy to... Um, navigate through there, for example. Uh, plus, it tends to spread. Radiation will spread throughout a ship if the hull is damaged and, you know, cut off your people and can, all of a sudden, you can find yourself trapped with no way to save some of your drones, which is very scary. Uh, this game, Duskers, is currently in early access on Steam. It is a very compelling, very difficult, cool sort of strategy, sciencey game. I love the idea of the console log. Um, the creators say, you know, still still have a lot of work they're looking to do on the game, which is very exciting because it seems to have a pretty decent amount of content right now. Um, certainly, there are a lot of... Um, there are a lot of different uh, modules for the drones and probably some I haven't discovered yet. And in particular, the ship, con ship config, there's a lot of inventory space there. I suspect there's a lot of different types of upgrades, but I haven't gone and spoiled myself to know how many there are. So I'm quite curious um, to see how it works. But there we go, Galaxy, Universe. I don't know. It's, it's an excellent little game. Love it. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.